Thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. I'm Corey Stark. And I'm Laura Hedegar. Millions of Americans return to work today from the holiday break, but their attention will likely be elsewhere. Percentages are better. 40% off, nobody doesn't like that. 30% off, free shipping. All right, guess how much we're expected to spend today? Hmm. 3.3 billion, with a B, dollars. Ooh, that means most of you will be online trying to get the biggest and best deals. Our Justin Andrews is live in our newsroom this morning. And Justin, you're finding out most bargains are not just on TVs, toys, and technology. Yeah, Laura, you can add one more T to that. and we're huh? Kent, for any of our friends who woke up in maybe Franklin County or the Eureka area today thinking, I'm going to have an awesome drive in on Interstate 44, that is not the case. For the second morning in a row, this is what it looks like, 44 eastbound right at Lewis. Our Drew Mitchell is out there. Take a look at your screen. Once again, this is involving a semi. You see crews out there trying to clear the scene. This is going to take a while to clear. 44 eastbound at Lewis is shut down. Kent, mentioned the patchy fog and it is having a huge impact on 44. This is what it looks like 44 109. So a very dangerous morning setting up on the roadways. This is the type of morning where again I would suggest taking Highway 30 to the north, taking Highway 100 to make it over to 270 because 44 is a mess. I tell you what, I'm in a great mood this morning because 44 eastbound is wide open, especially right. Yeah, that deserves a woohoo. It has been rough on that stretch of roadway really for the last oh, 45 hours. So 44 is wide open. However, I am seeing that fog that Kent was mentioning, especially between 109 and Lewis. I've also been noticing a slight slowdown right here on 70 leaving the city. The crash we told you about in the four o'clock hour has since cleared. However, that slowdown, what's going on? Actually, just a lot of people are leaving the city on Interstate 70. You see that right here at Grand. The express lanes heading into downtown St. Louis are wide open. It is the last day of November, Kent, and I am now tracking the first crash of the morning commute. It's technically in the Berkeley area. Made a map to show you this is McKibben Road. This is Natural Bridge. That is where that crash is, so a heads up to any of you who do take Natural Bridge. Otherwise, Interstate 70 and 170 by Lambert look fantastic. I'm talking about Lambert. Let's show you how things are moving. You can see the traffic is definitely building inbound. No problems to report right there. Just checked in with Lambert. Now two morning flights are delayed. What happens today, right? I think most Star Wars fans probably do, right. but just in case you don't, here you go. Tickets go on sale today for the new Star Wars movie. It is Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And as you can see from this nifty little advertisement here, those tickets are now officially on sale. The movie hits theaters in December. Have a feeling that flick's going to do pretty well. Probably. Good guess there. Good <laughs> I would guess. think so. There is a new tax trend across the country. Local governments are trying to make up for lost revenue when people cut the cord from their cable companies and switch to services like Netflix and Hulu. Well, as Carter Evans reports, consumers don't like it. 544, time to check weather and traffic on the fours. Laura, you have... Uh, been doing an ice skating report this morning. I what, have. What? 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 Yes. What? Yes. You know what? 544. I like to just get crazy. Think Whoa. outside the box. I know that. I know what that. Yes. Well, now you do. <laughs> um, and I was thinking, it's the first day of December. What do people like to do in December? They like to ice skate. Ice skate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And there are a lot of outdoor rinks in our area, so we'll talk about where they are and how traffic is moving by them. Love go. it. Look at you getting there crazy. You oh, what what next? Woo, I think you skated I over here, actually. There's like a little skating rink. She just well, you know what? There's one right, right close to where we're looking. Just yeah. to the, and we'll look into next week as well, Laura. I am going to triple axle right into the green screen, Kent, to talk about this ice skating report. There will be professionals on the ice tonight at the Scott Trade Center. The Blues take on the Lightning at 7 o'clock, so be prepared for that if you live or work in downtown St. Louis. There are quite a few out outdoor rinks in our area and I want to talk about the traffic moving by them. First off, the only outdoor rink in St. Charles County is the one at uh, the Meadows near Lake St. Louis. Also, the brewery now has one and then Union Station, Steinberg and also Shaw Park. Let's go ahead and show you how things are developing in the Lake St. Louis area. This heavier traffic is definitely heading east on Interstate 64 near Lake St. Louis with no problems. No problems here on 64 at Kings Highway courtesy of the BJC Skycam Network where Steinberg is in the final a live look is 55 at Potomac. Heavier traffic is heading north on 55, very close to the brewery.
Welcome back to the special live on the road edition of Great Day St. Louis in beautiful St. Charles. We are coming to you live from OPO Startups. You're probably sitting at home thinking, what does OPO mean? It actually stands for the old post office. This beautiful building was the post office for the city of St. Charles from about 1906 to 1962. I want you, if you can, to look up there. You probably noticed some holes. That is actually where the postmaster was able to spy on the employees, making sure, you know, they weren't taking uh, some money out of the mail. I tell you what, the technology from then and the technology that is now happening inside here has sure changed. Right across the street is the first capital of St. Charles. We have the Lewis and Clark launching from here. We have uh, Daniel Boone's presence early on down here. And so now we're doing all these startups down here, is repurposing the space for uh, entrepreneurs and startups, primarily tech startups, which is really kind of a neat thing to see happen. There's an interesting juxtaposition between old and new happening right on this stretch of Main Street in historic St. Charles. The Postal Service is one of the oldest businesses in America, and now some of America's newest businesses are being created right here. We turn this into an incubator for entrepreneurs and startups. Randy Schilling bought and then brought the old post office back to life. Here's what it looked like in 1909. That's when the foundation was laid for the technical takeover that we are seeing today. You can see the workers in this picture are proud of what they built, and Mr. Schilling is pretty proud of what he is building here too. I'm most proud of the people and the things that they're creating and the opportunities that they're creating. We started less than a year and a half ago and there's over 100 people working out of OPO. One of the 100 is this man, Jim McPherson. This is where I come to work, yeah right here. Although he works indoors at the OPO, the focus of his business is the great outdoors. Well, we are a web-based log and dashboard for hunters. Similar, I would say, like Map My Run or Map My Fitness for exercise people. We help people log their hunts so they can kind of keep track and keep score of how they're doing. And if you want to keep score of how OPO Startups is doing, simply come in, check it out, speak with all the men and women you see working here, and I have a feeling you will give the old post office your stamp of approval. One of the things I just love about this tech incubator is how much of a sense of community there is. Check it out, there is a bar inside here. And in fact, every day, people can be found mingling along this bar, exchanging ideas. Matt and Kent, kind of like how people used to exchange mail here. Oh, I see what yeah, you Yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Bringing it back to the history again. I mingle at the bar, but I'm not exchanging I know you do. ideas. <laughs> That's true. There's hey, no here's stamps in Hey, babe, here's an idea. <laughs> How did that go over for you? <laughs> Not well. <laughs> 